Hi everyone. Um, the video I'm going to do today is on installing the Arden Mesh firmware on a TP-Link device. Specifically, the device I'm using is the CPE-210, but the process should be the same whether it's the CPE-210, 510, uh, the WBS-210, 510, or most of the other TP-Link devices. Out, out of the box, the device is not configured in any way, shape, or form, so you'll have to manually set certain things. Uh, if you look at the TP-Link router on the back, it'll have in pretty light gray text, it'll say Pharos 2.4 gigahertz, 300 megabits per second outpour, uh, or CPE, and then it'll have an IP address. Uh, in this case, it is 192.168.0.254. We need that because we have to manually set up our computer to be on that same subnet. So what I'll do is I will come down to my network I'll right click on this, open network and internet settings. Scroll this down and I want change adapter options. Then I will right click on the Ethernet and I'll choose properties. Now there's more than one way to do all this, but this is the easiest way I know of. I will click on the Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IP v4. Click properties again. I want to choose use the following IP address and I'm going to type in 1992. 1680 period, and I'm going to use 2. When I hit tab, it fills in the subnet mask. That's all I need. Click OK, click close. So now I'm going to open up a browser. Uh, I've already got Edge open. I'm going on the assumption that you have already downloaded the Arden Mesh firmware. Uh, if you have not, then you'll need to go to ArdenMesh.org and find the appropriate firmware for your device. I've already downloaded it for mine, so I'm going to pass that one. I have a browser window open. I'm going to type in 192.168.0.254. You're going to get this warning because you're trying to go to a secure site and you don't have a certificate. Just click on Advanced. Click on the Continue. It's, it's an empty router in your own LAN, so it's okay to do this. <coughs> okay. This is your default screen. So, you can put whatever you want in here. Um, first, Actually, I'm going to change this to root. What I did is I'm using the password that I plan on using after I flash Arden Mesh on there, Arden on there. And root is the username that Arden uses. Um, using the same password I'm going to put on later on anyways. The reality is this. It doesn't matter what you choose because when it flashes it, it erases everything 
puts its own firmware in, puts its own configurations in, and you have to redo the whole process anyways. So the password gets wiped out anyhow. So I'm going to log in. Okay, so... Try admin. Okay, I'm going to pause this for a minute. Okay, so I forgot a step in this. Uh, it's been a while since I've flashed one of these. What I forgot is that they already have a default password in there, which is username admin, password admin. So, change this to admin. I agree to the terms of use when I log in. Now it prompts me for the new information. So I'm going to say root. Um, like I said, it doesn't matter what you put here as long as you remember it long enough to flash the firmware. Because it will get erased. So right now I am looking at the router and all the lights are on. Uh, so all I care about is management. Oh, system. So I want firmware update. I'm going to go back. I've already got it saved. I have the Elden Mesh that I want, which is this one, because I'm doing this on a version 2. So I'm going to click Open, I'm going to click Upload, and it is uploading the files. Now it's going to take a few minutes. So it comes up, it says, New firmware version is 000 build 2020 1206 release 11.12.57, or 11.12.57. Um, doesn't matter what you do here. So, I'm just going to say keep. It doesn't matter. Because this isn't an Arden. Okay. Okay, so we'll try this again. Alright, so I'm going to say restore this time. That's what I needed to do. Keep doesn't work. So, I'm going to pause this while it's going, and then I'll come back to it. A brief uh, little snippet here. Uh, you saw it doing the writing firmware when I said I was going to pause it. Now it's rebooting. Uh, on the device, I see one light flashing, and that's it. So I'm going to pause it again until it's done rebooting. Okay, so this is the screen that you're presented with once it's done rebooting. The reason is, is the Arden Mesh uses a 10 dot something IP address range. We're still in the 192.168.0 dot whatever IP address range. So I'm going to go back here to the adapter options that I had open earlier. If you don't remember how to get to it, it's right click on your wireless, go to settings,
um, network and internet settings and then adapter options. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect from this because I do not want to have a connection to, to my mesh already. Otherwise, when I do the local host, that local node part, it won't work. But, so I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go to properties. Go back into the internet version 4. Click properties. I'm going to choose obtain on both of these. Click OK. Click close. <clears throat> now it is getting the IP address from the router, from the TP link. So you see that it's a new network and it's a yes on this. I do that because this computer is going to be on the mesh and so I want to make sure it works. Now, there's multiple ways of getting where we need to go. I'm going to do this. I'm going to say local node dot local dot mesh colon 8080. Takes me to my status page. You see no call 100 101 50. That's because it hasn't been configured. So I click on setup. Type root hsmm. That's the default for the node. So all I care about is this right here. I'm going to change this to WB0TSG because this is Brad's node. I'm going to put in and then I'm putting in the password that we use on our mesh. Okay. Everything else is going to be the same on ours. What you can do is you can choose the channel you want to use. We're using channel negative 2. We're using the bandwidth of 10 megahertz. I am going to check this option. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to change this to America, Chicago, because we're in that area. If I wanted to, I could put in his land settings, but his latitude and longitude, but I won't do that. He can do that if he wants to. I'm going to click Save Changes, and it is rebooting. I'm going to save that even though I don't need to. Okay, so I'm going to pause this again because it'll take a minute. And we are back. So it rebooted and it automatically brought me to the status page. I have four lights on on my node. Or on Brad's node as the case may be. So I will go here. just to show you the mesh is active. So it's seeing various neighbors. Uh, this is mine. These two are both mine. This one here is two blocks away. And then everything over here is uh, things that we're seeing through our tunnels and other neighbors. So, as you can see, everything is working. That's how you 
flash the TP-Link devices.